Beautiful day. He's generous and wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God's good. God's good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba. Hey, good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous and wonderful. He's kind and great. So let's show our Father we appreciate. God's good. God's good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, wonderful, kind, great. What can I wait? I can't wait. See, I was trying to be doing improv. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God's good. God's good. God's good. Ba 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 do ba ba ba. It's just I want to do something a little different. When I almost had bongos, I started coming in, play bong. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on a beautiful day. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Everybody, it is the Michael Callier Morning Show. Welcome to I the Morning you Show with Michael you got your honey. Don't let your guards down. You know, some people to start getting well. Some people took some of those shots. Gary is healing in the morning. Down. Not let your guard down. Gary is healing in the morning. We got to fight, fight, fight. There's so, so much love day. in the morning. Oh, so much love in the morning. Gary is music in the morning. Gary is healing in the morning. Without our singing. Gary is healing in the morning. Man, a hundred grand. So much love in the morning. Get your hands together. Gary is music in the morning. I love it when he says it. Welcome to the morning show. 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 Praise the Lord, I'm amazing. I love your your ears. All right. Amen, 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 Guys in the room, y'all. Amen. Okay, Carter. Good morning, Jacqueline Ward. Stacy Quinton, you got the number one prize today. Healing in the morning, right here, y'all. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Tim. Hey, hey. So much healing, so much healing. So much love in the morning. I don't know why that thing had a hiccup. Hey, Cynthia. Good morning. 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 Ty Spoon Show, ladies and gentlemen. We don't use spoons here, but we don't. <laughs> Good morning, Ruthie Davis. Hey, I see Yo, Fred G. E, baby. I need a decision, but I'm living. 
Gunawala. He ends up with Gunawala. I don't know what Gunawala is. We got the, I, just got the, <laughs> I, just, I got the eggs, Moonlight. What's Gunawala? What? Right. Gunawala. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, top news. They I can't uh, wait. Uh, some folks got killed. White folks be killing people, don't they? Oh, yeah, they, I know. They, oh, and it's terrible. And you know he's white. You know, they killed 10 people in Boulder, Colorado. Our prayers go up. Yeah. Or Boulder, Colorado. Anybody who lost family on yeah, that. Was, yeah. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I, I wasn't no brother. You know, wasn't no brother. We, we don't we don't be killing oh, yeah. whole <laughs> yeah. white folks. We just <laughs> kill each other. Anyway, um, you could tell that uh he wasn't a brother because they gently walked him to his car. You know what I'm saying? They walked <laughs> For the longest, they wouldn't even give up his identity. They're protecting his privacy. We won't, we won't say the name of the of the killer. And they wouldn't even call him a right. suspect. I watched for two hours. They would just called really? him a person of interest. Here he is in nothing but Whoa. his shorts and an AK-47 with blood running down his leg. But he's 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 a, a, a person of interest. If they were black. They'd have been dragging that dead body over to the car and threw it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. story straight, you know. But what I, I do send uh, prayers up to the families of anybody who lost. Yeah, anybody. funny about sure. that at all, you know. So blessings and prayers go up to Colorado. Ten killed, man. Look at yeah. this is seven mass wow. shooting in the U.S. in the last seven days. Seven shootings. It's the seventh within the last seven days. That's that's cold blooded right there, man. Um, oh, Jesus. It's let's get to something great. happier. March Madness. Yeah. You know the basketball oh! Oh! Now, colleges are, 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 have become gladiators. You know, and I just like to say that <laughs> yesterday I won and lost at the same time. Loyola. How did you? <laughs> Loyola University, which is in Chicago, beat Illinois, where Chicago is. So I bet on both of them. Okay. I broke even. <laughs> I broke even. I broke even on that. Uh, but tomorrow, uh, we're bringing back the uh, sports guy, uh, Joe Dargan. And, uh, he's oh, yes, your he's friend. Coming. Yep. He's coming back. And uh, Byron Scott, the uh, L.A. Laker legend, is going to sit in with him. And they're going to break he's down. He's coming here? And we're gonna find out what they think about uh, the, the, the mass. Uh, what they call it again? Wow. What they call it? March, March madness. madness. Yeah. Mad. The people get mad in March too because they take a thing yes. called spring break. Have you heard about the spring break <laughs> thing? Every I year they saw pictures. Oh my god! Can you show one of those pictures from spring break? This is like about four days ago, y'all. I saw this on the news. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I. I mean. Spring, so COVID I couldn't don't believe take it. Spring break. COVID don't take spring break. COVID on the job <laughs> right. all the time, and all those people well, show that other picture. This is in Miami. Spring break, y'all. Uh, like four days, wow. Four days. You know, I'm like, oh my god. All right, see, so, my, um, my problem is, is all those people, and not one of them invited me. Nobody called me. Nobody texted me. Nobody I posted would, nothing on my Facebook. I wish I could no. tell them. If I could just tell <laughs> them. <laughs> For one dollar, just for one little wristband or something, just a dollar. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, Go ahead. Yeah, but, you, but you know what I hate about that, though. Seriously, all jokes aside, is man, with the way that this whole COVID thing works, we won't even know if there was an issue until two to three weeks from now. You know what I mean? Because it takes two weeks for it to incubate and then finally to start showing up. So it's like, man, and are all of those people going to go home? And really quarantine for two weeks and stay away from their family and friends. They're not even thinking. I don't think about so. March. Not even thinking about it. Yeah. I, but besides, how the hell you have a spring break and school ain't in? Ain't nobody in school. <laughs> Where are they breaking from? I'm not right. even sure they're breaking. From. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, I guess a lot of people need to get out of their home classrooms. I guess. Like, I know one gentleman is going to college on a school that's on the East Coast, but because of COVID, he hasn't left Los Angeles yet. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? So goodness. it's like, yeah, because they're on the computer going through it. So, man, shouts out to all of you college-bound <laughs> folks and folks that are in college. And praying this is your first year. We are praying for y'all. 
Great up we for know y'all. This is a different year. Yeah. It's a y'all, different year for you. I'm really praying for y'all who went to the to the spring madness. That's what that's <laughs> that's spring. That's, that's spring madness. That's not a March madness. It's not a spring break. Spring break it's madness, right? right? Spring madness. Hey, right. listen, we have a professional comedian here today. Watch yes. Oh, we're going to have a good time tonight. This brother actually comes from your hometown. I don't know if he has all those numbers like you, you know, 909, but he's Chicago. in the neighborhood. <laughs> Chicago! Chicago. 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 Yes, ladies and gentlemen, coming all the way from Chicago, Illinois. Come on, y'all, and show them some love right there in the comments for the one and the only comedian, Bees. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Whoa, whoa. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Great. Good morning, brother. Bees. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm from Chicago. South uh, side? Born, born and raised in the South Side. And um, I, I really love my city, despite how the media try to betray it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I love my city because we're very unique. You know, um, even even the people that beg is unique because normally people oh. beg for a loose change or spare change, but <laughs> in Chicago they ask you for a specific amount. So, <laughs> so the other day a guy came up to me. He said, "Hey, can I borrow eighty five cent?" And I said, "No, I ain't got it." Like, come on, black man. I'm trying to get me some to eat. Come on, black man. I say, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't have any money, but uh, uh oh, that, that, that was a bit because that caught me. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you hung up on him. I don't have any money, click. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, but I say, I say, I say, I don't got no money, but um, I got a subway sandwich in my bag. I was gonna take it to work, but if you're hungry, I'll give it to you. He gonna ask me, What kind of meat is it? Oh. I, said, <laughs> I, said, I said, What? I, I, I thought, I thought he was a homeless vegetarian, like, I didn't know he was a homeless vegetarian. <laughs> uh, uh, Michael, are you, uh, are you from Chicago? So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the red line. Yes, so, sir. Uh, I kept it right now, uh, back and forth. That's, to work that's the hell, y'all. That's the train. People the hell train, off. right. Oh, exactly. okay. Gotcha. Okay. okay. All right, go ahead. Right. So uh, on my way home from work one day, I'm on the train, and there's a guy uh, laid out on the train on the seats. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, got, he got a pillow, and he got a blanket. <laughs> uh, he got a little TV watching the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, he laid up with a little, with a little woman, little, you know, crackish woman. And uh, oh, I, said, I said, wait a minute. They had the whole date on the train. Like, I, 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 felt, I felt bad being there. I said, man, look, I ain't mean to invade y'all privacy. You know what I mean? But I got two more stops and I'm going to be out y'all way. I know y'all talk about COVID earlier, man. It, it's, a, it's a hot topic. And uh, I'm, 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 really, I'm really sick of COVID. Like, um, so like my son is doing the e-learning and um I actually mm-hmm. think that uh he's got a little bit dumber from the e-learning because before COVID started, um he could count to hundred with no problem. Now he can stump that sixty. I'm like, what, what is going on? What? And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I made a, I made a decision to um because I'm I, I my son is not gonna fail first grade. Like he, that's just not gonna happen. So <laughs> I yeah. said I, I'm gonna do his next three his next three assignments, and we're gonna be all right. And then his teacher emailed me and said, "Uh, you know, maybe you should start helping him out more because his last three assignments he failed." I said, "Wait a minute, <laughs> 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 so I I can't do my ABCs. Something's going on." <laughs> uh, I, I'm a single I'm a single dad as well. Um, his mother um dropped him off at my house. Uh. A little over two years ago, wow. uh, I was supposed to keep it for the weekend, and she never came back. And, <laughs> and, and, and like, <laughs> didn't, didn't leave a didn't leave an instruction manual or an outfit or nothing. Just just here, <laughs> yeah. you know. But uh, I, I've, I've been I've been working through it. But um, the um 
the the great thing about being a single dad is uh he he's the best wing man. Like my, I I've been, I've been getting so many women since I since I've been a single dad. Like as soon as I see them, as soon as I tell them I'm a single dad, that's like that's like tell my I'm a millionaire. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is, <laughs> but ever since, ever since I became a single dad, I, I became a player. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I I sent I sent him out there. You know he get him and bring him back to me, and then. I get him ice cream after, you know, that's his reward for picking me up. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but um, going back to my, uh, to my to my baby mama, who I have a distinct, I want to say I don't want to say hate, but I really dislike her very much. Uh, when when we were together, she uh, she put a protection order on me, and um, I didn't think that was fair because we, we have oil protection. You know, that's that, that's because. The person don't feel safe around you that, that he was abusive, right. but I wasn't abusive. You know, we had a one on one fight. And, and <laughs> that's me, wrote. y'all. The comedian. Thank you. Yes, B. All right, thank you, brother. Where, where, where we gonna see you at performing next, bro? How can people find you? You can follow me on Instagram at Beans the Comedian. You can follow me on Twitter at Beans the Comedian. All right. You can also follow me on Cash App at Beans the Comedian. There you go. <laughs> All right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Beans the Comedian. Yes, Beans the Comedian. Holla. One comedian to the next comedian. This next one actually is our friend, Miss Arkansas. Miss Arkansas, as you know, uh, just won host for a day. So next yes. week, she'll be one of our hosts. On the show, ladies and gentlemen, she's a brilliant, I'm talking about a brilliant comedian. And today, she's helping us work it out with our uh, vision board. It's Vision Board Tuesday, and here is Ms. Arkansas. Woo! Woo! Hey, I'm all you got to roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, it was too early to put clothes on. <laughs> you look great. How you feel, Ms. Arkansas? Man, I am wonderful. You know, every time I open my eyes and God do it again, hey, I ain't got nothing to complain about. Your vision board. Oh my goodness. We mm-hmm. I saw that. I was like, this is a professional. Can we show our vision board? Wow. Yes. I mean, when I looked at that, I said she ordered that. Yeah, that vision board. <laughs> That's that came from Amazon. Oh my goodness! So, how long have you been working on this vision board? You know, it's been in my head. It's been in my. uh, It's been in my head for many years. You know, since you take it down. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's been in here for many years. You know what I'm saying? And then you, I kept hearing different ones say uh-huh. vision board, vision board. Then in Habakkuk 2 and 2, I think I'm saying it right, in the Bible that I believe in. Yes. It talks about, uh, you know, your vision. So I was like, and then seeing you. Wait, why you put the emphasis on I believe in? You said I don't believe in the Bible. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Now you believe too. I tell you all the time when you pray, it seems like you and God is partners. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like that. <laughs> but you know, like I say, I, I've always had a vision, and then like yourself, Steve Harvey, just to name a couple of y'all, talks mm. about it, and I'm like, God, I already know that you're doing things, and so many wonderful things has came have came to pass, and then I'm like, it's a few more I won't. So I better write it down, you know, and then all this that's on that board is my vision. But my biggest vision ain't on the board. But that's for God to allow me to lead millions of people to him. So let me ask you a question. How come that's not on the vision board? Because he just put that in my vision this morning. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Then, then let's put your vision board up so you can tell us about it. Okay, tell us what the different things mean. I see you blessed. I know you blessed. Yes. First of all, I am blessed. And every day I am living for a God-sized result. You know, big. Something that just blow your mind. I give them my my magnifying glass. I see you have look good, feel good. That's your goal daily? 
Yes. Come on with it. And then yeah. far as the little bitty part is say about crystal clear, everything is crystal clear now to me. No more wondering and confusion. You know, and I love what it say over on the side. It say, set your goals high and don't yeah. stop till you get there. Believe you can and no, wait, believe you can and you are halfway there. Do it now. You know, ain't no sense of waiting. Like God's timing ain't our timing, but at the same time, when He give you a vision, do it. Don't wait no more. That's and right. And then I'ma feed my happy, and my mm -hmm. happy I'ma grow more spiritually, physically, mentally, socially. Uh, I'ma score big. I've already scored big a few times. You know, I had my own show at the Ontario Improv and other places. Then hey, lean, lean over to your left so I can see your face while you're talking. A little bit back, a little bit more. That's the right. No, Wait. no, that's your, your left. That's your yeah, left. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, like I say, scoring big. I've had my own show like at the Ontario Improv and other mm -hmm. places. And then God say the same. I love saying that because we don't know what's going to happen today, let's long tomorrow. But uh, if he say the same on the 13th of next month, I start my own comedy night out here at level one uh, with Jimmy. Davis. Yes, we don't start off first with like open mic. And he say like once a month, we'll bring a, a big celebrity in, you know, like Michael Kaya or somebody. Hey, God, nah. <laughs> oh, wait, where are you? You in Vegas? Yes, I've okay. been in Las Vegas three years now, you know, yeah, and that's what my vision board, too. It ain't on that one, but it's up there in that vision board to come back to Cali one day. Now, Miss Arkansas, the viewers don't know this stuff. You got to tell them all of that. Right. I know you've been in Vegas, but the people down there. Yes, I've been in Las Vegas now for three years, and I was in uh, Los Angeles area, well, Ontario, for like 11 years. But Were you down there opening for Monique for a while? Uh yes, when Monique had her uh residency here at the SLS Hotel and Casino here in Las wow. Vegas, I did her first 13 shows. And wow. then I had been one of my vision uh was to go to the Apollo in Harlem, New York. And that vision I kept it for like 30 years and God brought it to pass a couple of years ago. I was blessed to go to the Apollo with Monique. Wow, so, that's beautiful. That, went, was, that, was a big, that was a guy size result. <laughs> I went to Apollo. They wouldn't let me on stage, but I I had fun in the audience. <laughs> you know, kidding. Michael, like I told them before they uh before I did my comedy, I had to get guys some shout out, you know, and I told them that I had been trying to get in there many years on amateur night. And God said I wasn't no amateur. That's why he allowed me to go with Monique, the Academy oh, Award wow. with Monique. And I love Miss Monique. I love. Before I get off of here, a couple of my uh, on my vision. One day I want to meet Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Denzel Washington, and then one day I want to appear in a film and movie with Michael Kaya, uh -oh. Mary J. Blige, Viola mm -hmm. Davis. Say that other lady name for me. I just know the P. Henderson. Raji P. Henderson. <laughs> Raji I wasn't gonna mess her. I was gonna mess her name up early this morning. And <laughs> Regina King. That's I want to work with Regina. Thing, you know. Mm. So your yeah. boy looks good. It's very neat. And you look at it. You take glances at that, and you just keep reminding yourself that you're gonna make all these things happen. You yes, know. Yes, and like I, you can't see it, but it's kind of little in there. I'm getting back oh, in shape man. because I done gained about 20 pounds in this pandemic. I did see that, and it was little. <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing. You wrote that in ink pen. Everything else. Yeah, you I had to write that down work. so I mean it. I'm going to work out with yeah. Dunn. You hear me? <laughs> you work out, we work out here every Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm you can help us to work out with us. I'm tired. That's in my vision, and let's bring it to pass. So. All right. <laughs> Yep, and then, uh, well, yeah, child, okay. my children and grandchildren, they in my vision because I one day see them just uh blowing on up with the rest of us. Oh, beautiful. That's a good that's a good vision board uh that you told us about. I love all the things you're looking for. I want you to really do them now. You said yeah. gonna get in shape. You know, we be getting in shape here on Tuesday and Thursday now with, with Dawn Stroh. I'm gonna get out my robe and put my uh workout clothes on. 
That's what I'm talking about. I got my work on, uh, clothes on right underneath my robe, so I'm ready to get this thing in today. I want to thank you, Miss Arkansas, and I'm excited about you coming on next week. Congratulations. Get that man going on out of the way. Congratulations to you for being a host of the day. And, and, yes. uh, and just thank the folks out here because they voted you in, girl. That means everything. And that's what I was going to say before you let me go, man. Mm -hmm. Much love to each and every one of you that voted for me. That meant everything. When I tell you I got the running through here screaming and shouting and my dog looked at me like I had lost my mind. Thank you, you know, and just know, man, that y'all love and support is needed and very much appreciated, and so are each and every one of you. Yay, we love you, Miss Arkansas. I love y'all, too, and I'm so excited to host. Oh, my God, I'm already, hey, man, I'm saying the prayer. I'm, I'm doing it all. You heard me? <laughs> yeah, and it's going to be easy for you because this is what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. Our host for the day next week, as well as the lady who gave us our vision board today, Miss Arkansas. Woo! Thank you. God bless you. Oh, yeah. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, thank <laughs> you. Hey, that was Miss Arkansas. And uh, shoot, we got to keep it on moving now because we got the doctor mm -hmm. in the house. The doctor in the house. Yeah, the doctor's in the house. He's taking care of a patient. So you want to go oh. to prayer, and then by the time you're done with that, oh. the, the okay. <laughs> patient okay. may be healed. I see her doing something like this. Is that is that keep going? Keep it. Yeah, that means go to prayer. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I was like, go. go. Oh, that that's go. Yeah. I was right, right. though, right? Yeah. I was right. Yeah. Go to prayer, right? Yeah, and then we come right. back and talk. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, perfect. Then yes, you are right, and we're gonna get to that prayer right now. First of all, my main man, E Baby. We're gonna do a couple of haikus from his book, y'all. We about to hit that prayer, but I have to do a couple of haikus. He has a book that's called uh, Haiku in You. And if those of you haven't been here for a while, uh, haven't been following us on the haiku, the haiku is a three sentence poem with 17 vowels and um, it breaks down in five and then, uh, one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, five, 17 vowels. It's five and then seven and then five. And then it has to tell that story. I wanna show you how the formation looks. It has to tell a story within, and all of this is one story. You know, all this is just one story. Okay, so I picked three. If you want us, if you want us to, that's five of them, if you want us to, believe in you, show us that. That's seven. Okay. Uh, you believe in you. I love what it says. If you want us to believe in you, show us that you believe in you. Woo! Woo! Okay. I don't need to do two of them. That one hit it on the head right there. How how you going to have other people believe in you when you don't believe in yourself? You got to believe in you, man. You got to get up in the morning, like I tell you, every morning with an attitude of gratitude. Why are you so grateful? Because you woke up. A lot of people didn't. You know what I'm saying? You are here. You're healthy. You got vision. You got energy. You got light. Man, we celebrate that. I have another gentleman who dropped on the show, came in on the show, too, off the chain. Uh, uh, we call him... Well, his name is Monk Coleman, but it's another name that he used. Um, and Monk is so awesome. I'm going to read one, one short piece from this, and then we're going to go. All right. Steps for elevating your vibe. I'm going to pick one. One of them is listen. See, listening to an uplifting song is positive energy and positive energy in and out. My favorite reggae artist can bring me right up to the feeling of unity and peace. So, if you feel a little down, you ain't, you don't, you, I ain't got my energy up yet, man. I'm trying to get there. I'm dragging along, man. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Throw on some Bob Marley. See if you don't get up. Or throw, on, throw on his grandson. You know, uh, put on some type of. Uh, I mean, I get up in the morning. I will be pumping my little little box. I be carrying this with me. Sometimes I walk down the street with it in my hand like this, and I just be playing music. People be like, don't want to hear your stuff. I don't care. I'm pumping myself up. Sometimes you pump yourself up just by listening. Listen to some good music. Listen to some good ideas, some motivational speaking. Stay up, up, up. Let's get to the prayer. We start with a holy breath. Inhaling through our nostrils. Hold that. Just hold it. Just hold that. 
Think one positive thought. Holding it. Holding it. Now exhale slowly. Mm. Can you feel that center you? <laughs> Let's get started. Father God, here we are again to say good morning and thank you. Oh, Father God, we open our hearts, our souls, our minds, and invite you to come in and fill us with your love, your peace, your passion, your joy, your wisdom. Father God, we are so grateful. I, we just want to start with thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for our family. Thank you for my queen, Kelly. Thank you for the house, the puppies. Thank you for another opportunity, y'all. Father God, thank you for Indianapolis, Indiana, where I'm doing seven shows this weekend. You better know that's a blessing because I'm sitting here in COVID. I'm trying to get my money on the screen. It ain't working that well, but God knew. Boom! Five shows turned into seven this weekend. Thank you, God. I appreciate that. Somebody going shopping. Father God, thank you for every opportunity, for every laugh, because humor is healing. Laughter is healing. If you can laugh through a thing, you can get through a thing. Oh, Father God, I pray that you bless us today and bless us indeed. I pray that you enlarge our territory greatly. I pray that your hand will be with us and guide us past evil, and we will cause no pain. Father God, in fact, we pray that you take us towards more light, more joy, more energy, more positivity, more, more togetherness, clearer communication, but on top of all of it, appreciation. 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 Thank you, Father God. Thank you for our lives. Let this day be wonderful. Lift up all our friends. A special blessing goes out to my friend Bird from Judge Judy. His wife is dealing with a uh, a physical challenge, and I know that we can turn that all around. I keep seeing y'all do it on the show all the time by prayer. You know, please lift. Her name is Marquita. So we're gonna hold Marquita in prayer today, y'all. That everything that's not working aligns in her body so she smoothly becomes whole again. Continue to lift up our brother Sinbad. Sinbad is still coming back from his stroke, but he's coming back. He, ooh, he in there battling it because y'all out there helping with your prayer. Your prayers become the wind beneath his wings. So let's lift him and lift him. And finally, just say once again, thank you, God, for all of it. Because it's all good, because it's all God. It's going to be all right soon as the swelling go down. Thank you, Father God, for everything. We love you. We appreciate you. And we say amen. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I mean, I say, boom, shaka laka with a smacking of woo, woo, woo. Amen. Thank you. And we prayed our way through it, y'all. Let me tell you something. And I mean this with my whole heart. Prayer helps everything. I don't care what situation you're in. I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it's a health issue. I don't care if it's financial. Prayer helps everything. There's never been a time I've been in trouble and I prayed and didn't get out of it. And you know, that's why I'm constantly praying. Anyway, come on back, Chris. What are we doing, baby? Oh, it's time for the doctor. Okay, is he ready? Not quite yet. It's time for the woo, the woo, and the woo. Oh, the woo. Words of the Kaji clan. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, woo, woo, woo. 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Give us a good whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now whoa, that whoa, was whoa. something. Whoa, let me get a whoa. Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. Woo woo woo! Woo woo woo! Woo I love that. I love that. I love that video. I love them woo to the woo woo. All that woo woo right. energy out there. You know, yes. this weekend, uh, Chris, and you joined us actually. The yeah. our friend Tressa Smallwood. Yeah. Who produced the movie that I mean called um Holiday Heartbreak. Holiday Heartbreak. Mm -hmm. He produced eight films last year, right through the COVID period. Wow. Eight films. It's amazing. She's just did one that followed our film. She just shot with Bill Bellamy. It's gonna be a Christmas film for this season coming up. And Vivica Fox went down and directed her first film underneath her. And it's just she's just a powerhouse. So she put together called DMV Film uh Summit. Which you know, you know that's uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Mm -hmm. so DMV. Mm -hmm. But we from all around the country, we got on 
And um, and we just learned so much stuff. I mean, the president of TV One was there. The head of casting for BET was there. And we had these, these wonderful, 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 wonderful seminars. Um, and we was doing our woo woo woo. I was joking with woo woo woo, and they said, "Hey, let's run the trailer from the movie." So they ran the trailer for Holiday Heartbreak, which I just thought was so. <laughs> Fly. And then we had to do the seminar with them. I got to be on one of the panels. And it was oh, so nice. good to pitch my sitcom to a producer. So it was just, it was really great. How so did just, your pitch go? Did it go good? You know what? I have no idea. You know, I, the guy, <laughs> when I got through pitching, he said, yeah, I, I think i really like to see your script. You know? So now I'm waiting for them to get back with me on that, on how it went. But let me tell you how it went for me. Fantastic. I've never had an opportunity yeah. to pitch a network. So I got a chance to actually feel what it was like. I had everything laid out, you know, and I um hopefully, hopefully, um Kayla, uh our, our producer's daughter could be my daughter. Yeah. I, I even held her picture up wow. and showed her about a father and a daughter, you know, because I don't think we see enough of such vid- such shows with black men. We don't. Single- Mm-mm. are raising their daughter. So it's like a wonderful comedy. And we showed it to them. And I talked, I told jokes, I made him laugh throughout the show. All the jokes were combined was connected to what the show was, you know? Right. So I, nice. Yes, I think it went good. I know it went good for me. If I don't never hear from them again, it went good <laughs> for me because I got a practice in of how yes, to do it. You know? I was going to say, tricky. man. It was tricky because we talked the whole time about you get 10 minutes to pitch. Mm-hmm. But I went on and said, you got five. I said, wait a minute. I thought y'all said 10. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, if you don't grab them in the first yeah. two minutes, you're dead in the water anyway. So you yeah. don't really need 10. You need to grab them in two. So it was a good time. So I just want to say a shout out to Tressa Smallwood and all of the Mega Man uh, folk. The Mega Mind is her company. Mega Mind, a shout out to all of them. And nice. Everybody. Who participated include my production partner, uh, Miss Malika Blessing, who was right there. Wait, let me tell you this. So Malika Blessing is there. Mm-hmm. They start the event with us all getting up and dancing. They got everybody dancing, getting your energy up. I keep telling y'all, it's about energy. So everybody dancing, they getting on, mm-hmm. they they party. So they say we're gonna give away an award right now. We're giving a prize away to whoever's getting down the most. Can I tell you that Miss Malika Blessing? One no, she did it. Oh my god, it was so good! So, wow, Malika, was, get down to the get down. Hey. And you was there, so you watched. Some yes, of I was there. I watched the um the one where they had TV One and BET in the room, which the the information that they were giving out, it's not normal to get that type of, those type of gems and nuggets mm-hmm. just free for all in a summit. Like, you have to be in the industry and know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody mm-hmm. to get that kind of information. But they were freely giving all kinds of nuggets. I'm so grateful, dude that you sent me the link to jump in there. Oh, my God. I learned so much, and I was only there for two hours. No, three hours. Three hours. Please don't, please don't say I sent the link to you. <laughs> you were supposed to pay for that, didn't I? I bet the receipt after. <laughs> I Thank you. Hey, we got to move to this next actor, a great actor. This yes. This boy, boy bad. He been he so is. good. Things a- a- ATL. Wait, uh, is Snowfall. Is Let's just start with Snowfall. Snowfall. He's in my favorite show, Snowfall. Um, and now he's in this new thing. If BMF is that black mother? What was <laughs> oh, black, mafia. Black, black mafia family? Oh, that was close. You know, it's a family show. I'm about to say. Right. Anyway, this dude is really, really excellent. I try. I couldn't even read all his credits in one sitting. The brother has done. Yeah, that boy's fat. He's working. You know, being this young, ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together for Mr. Marquise Moore. Woo! Oh! <laughs> hey, oh my God! What's up, I bro? love you, a snowfall. <laughs> Shit! What? I didn't know that's who you are. Dude, oh man, welcome to the show. Thank you, man. You know, thank you, thank you for having me, man. It's been a while since I've been up this damn early. I know, I know it, 
I know you didn't get up this early yesterday. But yeah, no, I was <laughs> in the airport. I was in the airport. My schedule got a little thrown off, but uh, I'm here today. I made it. I wanted to be here, here today, you brother. We appreciate that you're here, man. I did Thank your you. work, brother. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Likewise, oh. man. Likewise. Thank you, man. So how you how you working so much? Is it that you're um, lucky? You're great. You got good representation. What, I think what is a little you? bit of all of that. First of all, it's God. I mean, he he obviously has a plan for me because. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I never thought I would be where I am. And I, and in my opinion, I'm not anywhere yet. But, you know, wow. people walk up to me and they say, man, I've been watching you for 15 years. And I'm like, I've been doing this for 15 years? <laughs> like, wow. I did the math. I'm like, yeah, I have. So by the grace of God and then all of the elements of what you just said, um, mm -hmm. I'm just, I don't give up. I think the craziest thing about me is I don't care what's going on in my personal life. I'm always going to go on auditions. I'm always going to show up to work. I just mm -hmm. love doing it. Um, so I think mm -hmm. the world has reciprocated my appreciation for the craft. Well, Marquise, I don't believe you're going to always go to auditions. I think that you're going to get in such a position where they, they don't have to, you know, <laughs> the audition. They just going to tell you, uh, hey, you know, Mr. Moore, will you do this role? It's perfect. We'll send the script right over. Uh, the, the, the guy is coming. It's going to get to that for you, and it ain't yeah. going to be long at the rate you're doing it, you know. Thank um, you. Thank you so much. It, Fail as you're doing it. I Thank always you. believe you, you know. So whenever I say, I didn't even realize that this is who I was going to talk to this morning. This is this is great. This That's is great. Cool. Thank you, man. Hey, I appreciate that. Tell me about BMF, Black Mother. Ooh, no, that's not it. It's the <laughs> Black Mafia family. Um, BMF is actually um, based on a true story. It's produced mm -hmm. by Fifty Cent. Um, I got to work with an amazing director. Her name is Tasha Smith. Um, she's the best. She's I just my love this woman. That's why I study under this Tasha Smith. I love this woman. I, I, I've worked with a lot of people. I've been blessed. I work with Tyler Perry. I work with John Singleton. Um, rest in peace, John. Um, and and Tasha Smith falls under the category to me of a great director. The mm -hmm. energy that she brings is just awesome every day. Um, also, just working with Fifty. Um, He's always fun to work with, and he, he brings his best, and he expects the best from you. Guys, I think this show might be bigger than Power. Don't tell 50 I said it. But wow. I think it's going to be bigger than Power. I think it may be even bigger than Snowfall. It just has all the elements to be something that people are going to be like, oh, wow, this is classic. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. So it's gangster. When does it come out? In August. Oh, okay. And where do we yeah. see it at? On Stars. On Stars. Okay. You know yeah. Do you have a vision board? You know what? I did a vision board years ago. Um, mm -hmm. And when I saw the uh, the young lady's vision board, I was like, oh, I got to have one. I was like, I got to have one because it's time for me to get a new vision board. Uh, I'm inspired. So right now I got to put it on paper, do my affirmations, and get back on my stuff. I, I ain't doing it in a while, so I'm ready to do it. That's it. Listening to you, I had to put 50 Cent on a vision board. I had to write that down. I yeah. get it. Cause I really want to work with Fifty Cent. With Fifty, man, tell him, man. Uh, I'll put in the word for you too. Cause I'm pretty man, sure please put in the word. I just, I dig his work. Uh, oh, one of my friends, please, one of my friends in Chicago, in L.A. I mean, in uh, Vegas, who's a comedian named um, Mike P. Mike is P. It? Yeah, and he's worked with with Fifty on some some things like little things here and yeah. there. And I, I actually live in talk. Vegas. I'm in my home in Vegas now. So you know who Mike P is? He's on radio on 88 in the morning. He's a morning drive guy. I'm up in the morning, man. It's, I can't. I got it for you. I got it for you. <laughs> I don't know nothing about what Mike P doing in the morning. <laughs> what? Okay. So I would. I, I know whenever he mentioned 50, I'd be like, yeah, I want to see what project. Then he did a he did a TV project with, that was comedy based, and I was like, okay. dang, I should have been on that. But I know yeah. now coming in here is. A proof to me that I need to add him to my vision board. Yeah, you know, absolutely. he's going on today. He's going on absolutely. today. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. For real. So well, you've worked with a lot of great people. And once again, shout out to Tasha Smith. She's the best of the best. I mean, I love her. You should see her acting class. Her acting class ain't no yeah. joke. If you come in and you're prepared, yeah. you want to down with your life. But dude, if yeah. you're not prepared, she don't, she don't play, but she gives you. She she don't play you. Yeah, she don't play at all, but she'll definitely, like, one thing I respected about her, she would come and whisper to us what she wanted, but in public, out loud, she would always encourage us. 
So yeah. what, even no matter what she said in your ear, only thing people outside is gonna hear is that you're great, you got this. But she might have whispered in your ear, you know, you effing up, right? I need you. To yeah. <laughs> and I respected that so much because it was like, yeah. wow, you gave me, you know, you gave me what I needed, but also edified me so that I didn't feel bad about myself. So nice. I appreciate that, and I thought that was great. She brought out greatness in every single person, and that's rare. I like that, I want to learn from that. That's yeah. the thing I need to learn to do better too, is yeah. to make sure you say it quietly on the side. Right. Yeah, and so the vision or whatever the outward is, it always comes off as great and positive. I like yeah. that. Thank I you. I learned you. this morning from you. So, who would you like to work with that you haven't worked with yet, though? Um, Ryan Coogler, definitely. Mm -hmm. I want to work with Ryan. I think he gets it. Yeah. Um, I want to work with James Cameron. Mm, okay. I want to do some avatar. I want to be an avatar. Titanic avatar. Yeah. And uh, and then who's who's uh the sister who just did the one night in in Miami? Oh, Regina King. Regina King. Regina King. She was those on my girl, my vision board. She already on my vision board. Regina. Yeah, those would be my three. Oh yeah. man, man. So you now are, mot are motivated to put your yeah, vision board write those three down on you my vision board. Three on the vision board, man. I, I really hope that when you work with one of those three, uh, by then I show will be on a whole different platform, but I'll still have right. a show out here somewhere. I want you to come back and say, Michael, right. I put those yeah. on the vision board. And right. I'm going down to work with James today after I get through with this shot. With Virginia. You know, there's power in that. Yeah. I definitely believe that because everything that I ever got was manifested and with, with that intention. Um, mm -hmm. Everything. I mean, I remember writing a letter to myself saying I would work with Tyler Perry. And I was a series regular on the pain. So it's true, man. That stuff is not, you know, malarkey. It's real. It is real. It is real. You got to put it out there. You got to believe in it. You got to hold that thought. And that will make it happen, Captain. So I'm mm -hmm. proud of you, brother. I'm Thank proud you, brother. of you. I'm Thank looking you. forward to BMF. Me that's too. Gonna, that's going to be great, it's especially how you said as great as these other shows. Because all these shows you're on, you're on winning shows. I yes. love so far. I can't wait. For the yeah. next time. every yeah. time the first one's over, I just sit on the couch and stare at the TV because I'm like, when the yeah. next one coming? You know, yeah. I, I love and yeah. I, I, John, I love John Singleton. For yeah. you to be able to work with him, that had to be magic. It's amazing. It amazing, and he was every bit of a legend. Like every bit of being around him was legendary. It wasn't a moment that I didn't feel like I'm really around John Singleton. I never got used to hanging around with John Singleton. It always felt like mm -hmm. I was around greatness, you know? Um, are your parents still with us? Yes, my mother and father are still here. Are they uh, proud of you? Very much so, I think so. Um, I asked my father, was he proud of me actually recently? He said, yeah, my mother, that's like one of my best friends. When I was in Atlanta filming BMF, I went over there every Sunday um, and she spikes the hookah. My mother liked the small hookah. <laughs> <laughs> I put alcohol in it and then don't tell nobody. She put alcohol in the hookah. I love that. And then don't say nothing. So <laughs> <she's> <laughs> drunk. I love that. I had a great time with my mom. My dad, I call, he gives me good game. And uh, I'm just appreciative that they're still here and that we're still connected and closer now because I was a bad kid. So mm -hmm. now that I'm an adult, I understand. I'm a parent. So I understand where they're coming from. And, and we built a, built a great relationship as of lately. How many, how many kids you got? I got three. <sighs> oh, man, you ain't playing, youngster. Okay. And you're a parent, so now you get to see what you put oh, your I mind see. to. I mm -hmm. see. <laughs> my, daughter. my daughter, my mother told me this when I was young. She's like, you're going to have daughters. Like, Why would you wish that on me? Mm. But uh, now I have a th almost 13-year-old daughter. She's dope. But wow. she's so individual that I'm learning, like, she's teaching me that, hey, you got to be more patient, how to really listen. Because um, she's just an individual. I have to really like pay attention to her, her cues. Sometimes listening is not in the words. You know, I got to watch her cues. She's teaching me. My daughter's teaching me a lot. Yeah, man. I love that. I love, I'm proud of you too, sir. I'm proud of you too. I think I think you're just doing excellent. And you're also an excellent example of, of what young men can be. You know, so I'm glad that you dropped in to see us. What do you want to leave us with before you get out of here? Any last thing you'd like to tell us? Yeah, you? I, wanted, I just want to know how how did Pookie Popsicle come about? <laughs> Pookie Popsicle, uh, 
That was my cousin on my mama's side. And uh, he, was, he was fast talk. He walked fast. He wasn't going to win particular. But he would always be walking fast. And every time he saw him, he had a popsicle on his hand. I don't think I ever saw him eat it. But he always had a popsicle. No, I make that name up. Every morning uh, I make that name up. <laughs> I guess I'd leave you guys with, um. I got. I do music. I got a single, a group of men called The Pool Boys. It's on Nef uh, not Netflix. It's on Amazon, Apple, all of those sites. Um, so if you type in The Pool Boys, I got a new single out called Nervous and an album coming out April Pool's Day, which is April 1st. Pool Boys, check it out. It is kid friendly. So if y'all want to listen to it, the song's called Nervous. Check My daughter loves the song. She was actually here when I recorded it. But um, yeah, check it out. I hope y'all appreciate it. Thank you. I love, you, who you are. I love who you are. Thank you, brother. You're a person, you know, a father. You know, you're a dad. Yeah. You're a responsible black man. You respect yeah. your parents. I'm, Thank you. I'm honored that you came on this show today, young man. I need a bell. Oh, you know, we got the moment. I'll break the bell. <laughs> brother, can you leave us? I hate that you have to leave us, but can it's you leave us? With a woo, woo, woo. I said a woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marquise. More in the house. What's that nickname? What's that nickname? What's your nickname? My nickname? Yeah. They call me Keyson. Keyson. I saw What's it written. That? I was trying to remember what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, Keyson, Marquis Moore. That's where you can find him at Marquis Moore everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Peace, y'all. Wow. That was that was truly a great interview. <laughs> that was a phenomenal <laughs> interview. <laughs> huh? That was a phenomenal interview. It was. That kid, that kid is great. That kid, I think it's time to get our rocks on. I mean, the, it's the, time to get our rocks on. Yes. Let's get our rocks on. Here we go, y'all. Boom. Grandest, grandest mm -hmm. rising. I'm in my robe. Mm -hmm. Where my crystal? <sighs> Bringing you love and light. Good morning. Grandest uh -huh. rising to everyone. Welcome to Kelly Rocks. Today, um, I was mentioning, I think maybe last week or the week prior, is that I want to be able to bring some stones that kind of get overlooked because they're raw and not polished. And just the beauty and uh, the, I believe the power of stones is very real. That's just my belief. And that is just what I love. And it is just what I do. Um, though I do not claim, I'll give you a disclaimer that, you know, I'm not a medical doctor or anything like that. So anyway, um, I just find them very magical and it's also my birthstone. So today I am bringing you garnet. Um, this is the birthstone of January. So I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, this one actually has some pyrite. So hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what that one's doing. Hold on. Let me get one that's a little more red. There we go. Babe, can you come turn one of these lights down for me? Uh, yes, ma'am. That, that one is a lot more this red. One? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I think that's better. Hope Can you guys see that? Okay. Give me a thumbs up or hearts or something just to let me know. But this is a raw. Thank you. This is a raw garnet stone. Um, these are really great for bringing joy. They're great energy enhancers. This stone is also the very first chakra stone. It's not necessarily the stone. But most stones of the base chakra, when you see the colors of the rainbow on the body, those are your, your chakra or your energy fields or your energy wheels in your body. And so this is a representation of your lower chakra, which is called your root chakra. So if you stand up, it's anything from your tailbone all the way down to your feet. And that is what is a grounding stone. That's great for that. If you feel a little off keel, this is a really great stone um, for, for um, opening the chi in your body. You got to have the chi. The flow has to be able to go 
move freely in the body. And this is one great stone that will strengthen the root chakra. Among other stones, this is just one that I picked today. Um, it's great um, for people who are traveling many years ago, um, people, and, and there are still people that travel with this stone or people when they left on trip or when they came back, they, yes, it is an awesome, it's an awesome stone. They gave these as gifts for people who were headed on these long, long journeys. They were exchanged between friends, kind of like that until we see each other again. That was the gift of all gifts for people. Um, they're also the stone of children. It's a really great stone for children. Kids, anybody with kids has to be grounded. It takes a lot of energy to be around, especially the little people. So it's a really great way to get grounded. Um, um, it's great for also uh, stimulating your, um, it's great for romance. Um, it's a stone of love. It's great for heightening your um, beautiful sexual and your kundalini energies mm. as well. Mm. So we have a lot of these around here. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, sometimes garnet gets a little confused. I'm gonna close with this with rubies. And this in fact is a ruby. So they do get kind of confused. Rubies are more pink. That is a raw ruby. And so sometimes they get a little, um, you know, if you're, I saw a little thing, it said, if you're single and ready to mingle, Garnet is a gem at enhancing the stones of attraction. So if you are interested, anyone who purchases a Garnet from me, I would make it for today. I have a special today if you purchase a Garnet. I have them, they're very inexpensive, 15 to $20. Anyone who um, purchases one of these today, DM me, will get a free tumble as a gift. Mm. And I hope you guys are having a magical, magical Tuesday. Kelly Rock, so do you. And woo, woo, woo. Thank you. Oh, join me at the Earth Girl Essentials on IG. Earth Girl Essentials at IG. Woo! Kelly Rock! <laughs> Get yourself a free tumble. She starts right. talking about Kundalini. <laughs> you know, I believe Jamie, that's your favorite. <laughs> take your Kundalini out around here. We got kids. <laughs> right. Business. Hey, Man. It, it's time to get right. You know, sometimes we bring people back more than once. Uh, I bring people back five, six, seven times. But I bring them if, if they're really good. And this child blew us away, her and her band. We want to hear as much as we can get her, ladies and gentlemen. Right. It's Keisha and the impromptu. Wait, impromptu mean they just make it up as they go along. Okay. Right. Keisha and the impromptu band. <laughs> we make it up on the spot and we make it hot, baby. That's what we do. <laughs> I love it.
Can you hear me? You are you, muted. You're on mute. Mike, you're muted. He's muted. Mute. There you go. Oh, there you go. You okay. Good? Yes, you're good now. You hear me now? I can hear you. You hear me now? I can hear you now. My <laughs> God, you are fantastic. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. Oh my God! You got my Kundalini working over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a girl. Well, I don't even got to tell you you a mess. You already know that. Oh. Hey. You are fantastic hey. in that. But you know you what better. I do got to do? I got to give my boy a shout out. Who that is? He, his name is Moses. Moses oh. is the one that into. Don't you love him? We love Moses. Rose. Oh. Moses the man. Brother, man, he sent Moses so many. Moses Stovall, people. I gotta give a shout out to him. He's the one that said, "Hey, I need you to go on my uncle's show." You know, mm, that's my favorite nephew right there. Yes, yes, that's right. Moje is awesome, and he keeps sending wonderful people. Wait till you see the folks I'm bringing on next week. It's awesome, but I want you to keep coming back again and again because you and that band, y'all. I told not you, I'm shooting for a spot. You thought I was playing? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not playing. Be, I'm shooting I'm gonna for be a part of this show, spot. baby. Watch me. I you love it. Those whoa, that he whoa. not as though they were. There it is. I and love y'all. You know that they can follow us on Keisha's Impromptu Band. Now, now okay. I got to tell you this. There's no I in my name. That I is for them ghetto Keisha's. You know, the Y oh. separates me. You know, I'm the I, grammatically correct Keisha. K-E-Y-S-H-A. Grammatically -S 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 correct. I am right there. Keisha Impromptu Band. Uh-huh, baby. You got it. That's right. You Hooked on phonics is for adults, too. You Hello. Bad no bow. You got it, bro. <laughs> I love you. I love your energy. I love who you are. I love your music. What love you time. too. Love you too. Thank, Thank you, you so you much for having us. You can't us. leave us though without a woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. woo. That's a woo with a woo to woo to woo. That's a woo to woo 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 woo. I knew you was gonna come up. I knew you was coming back when I gave that woo. Listen, I've been a woo to woo like that. I got to my whoop to the boo 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 boo. I knew so you were wow. that woo boo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Keisha Impromptu Band. Tell them one more time how they can find you. You can find us on Keisha's Impromptu Band. K E Y S H A. Separate that Y, baby. Separate it. Mm. And the word impromptu, which means we make it up on the spot and we make it hot. We're going to do that for y'all one day, too. We're going to give y'all some of our impromptu stuff. Oh, I love it. I love yes. you. Thank you. I love you, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please remember to subscribe, y'all. A lot of you folks are watching us every day, and y'all still haven't subscribed yet. It means the world to us if we have that. So please make sure you subscribe, like, share. You know, uh, you see that going down there? Y'all think we just be scrolling stuff up so y'all have some sad reading. No, that's instructional. <laughs> Please subscribe, like, and share, guys. Uh, everybody on here should already be subscribed. The Kaya Clan should have been subscribed. But don't come by yourself. Bring some people with you. Invite folks right. to come to the show. And let's pump these numbers up, up, up. Uh, that was good, good, and good. And now let me go and look at my board. And now yes, it's time sir. For, we've been putting it off, but it's time to work out, ain't it? <laughs> oh, let, let, it is get, in, in just a few minutes. Let's get our announcements and stuff in first. Uh, so when we work mm -hmm. out, we let the folks go. 
uh, one of the things is, oh, for sure, um, Wednesday is tomorrow, y'all. And what is today? Today is National Chia Day. Ch-ch-ch-chia. Okay, you might want to get one of those. Um, <laughs> National Chip and Dip. I like a good oh. chip and dip. Don't get me wrong. National Melba Toast Day. What is, what Melba, is Melba Toast? It's, it's cheese encoded into the toast. Is that what it is? Oh, cheese. I can't do cheese. I'm anti-cheese. It's a yeah. hard toast. I know that. But I'll tell you something that's not hard. It's a Melba. Melba Moore. And Melba Moore. <laughs> and Melba Moore is going to. And here's your chia. Kelly brought over the chia seeds. Oh, that's for real. Yeah, we're trying to be with the day. It's chia seed. Day. Wait, chia day. Wait, are those the same seeds that they use for the chia pet? Yeah, those are the ones that they grow that, the chia right out of his head. Yeah. You have a, a chia. Oh, animal. so you. So you can eat those. Kelly eats them all the time. She says they're amazing. Really? Oh, you don't eat them raw, baby? How you eat them? No. You don't put them in your salad? I see you put them in salad. No, that's hemp seed. These oh, right here seed. are really great. Um, you just soak them. You can soak them in almond milk, and you can make a breakfast with this. You can soak them in almond milk, and you add fruit, layers of fruit. You can sweeten the almond Ooh. milk with maple syrup. And then you layer it with fruit. You just set it overnight in these wow. gels. Great and high in fiber. So you said that's probably Malika. Grab that phone. But look, you know what she said right there, though, is you can eat them as long as you smother them in all kind of good tasting stuff. <laughs> 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 the last thing you want to do is actually taste a chia. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and my question is, is does it grow in your stomach? Do you have like <laughs> people have been feeling their stomach felt kind of furry, kind of they're leafy? Great. <laughs> they're, they're great for the intestines. It's high in fi they're great and high in fiber. Great for intestines. High in fiber. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know it ain't. Also, and this I'm dedicating this to Ebony, Malika, and Kelly. It is National Puppy Day. This is National wow. Puppy Day. Be nice oh my to God! Puppy. Why do you, why do you dedicate that to the women? What's going on oh, there? And, and oh. Malika just got a brand new puppy, and Kelly's dogs think they puppies, and they bigger than me, <laughs> and they come and sit on her lap, and they weigh 140 pounds. So they think oh, they, God. And you know Ebony, her dog live with her dog be all in bed and everything. That dog <laughs> no, Noah can't. is like a family member. That dog be in the bed. Yes. She just look at Noah. Like, oh, only only when nobody's there and he's clean after a bath. Only when he's clean. <laughs> But he is like a son to me. Like, yes, he, he is, is a son. I mean, in the him. middle of a meeting, we'll hear, Noah, no, uh, what? You're so funny. <laughs> Kelly puppies are her kids. Those are her kids. I'll be telling you, they're my kids. These are my dogs. These are my kids, you know. Oh, wow. Walk with them, talk to them, and my dogs talk. They'd be like, oh. Yeah. Right. They sing with you. you. Your dogs sing. <laughs> yes, they sing. And if you don't say what they like, they'll go and yes. sit down. <sighs> right. Like, You're a dog. You don't even have no what? right. But here's the big one. National Tamale Day. What? Mm. You don't I like tamales? Like I used to. No, 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 no. I'm thinking, oh. yeah, I think I like tamales. That's yeah, what a lot of people eat during Christmas time, right? It's lard in it. There's lard in the tamales in all yeah. tamales. I just thought it was I, rolled well, up. I know the brown ones, but there's I know the traditional ones have like lard in it um, because I used to help a friend of my mom make them. So, uh -huh. oh lard, have mercy! And, and what do they do? They <laughs> Because my neighbor gives me free tamales, like, tamales. and she's, re they're really magnificent. Like, they're really, really I good. Yeah, I but you're not fun, supposed right? to eat the paper, right? No. You take, no. You take them out of the... It's a husk. It's a husk, yeah. It's a corn husk. husk. Yeah. No, oh. you, can, you, know, you can sew those together and make drapery. <laughs> okay. It's um, not work out. 
Oh, Miss Dawn is here. Time to build it up and make it firm, kids. Hit that <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> so good but we'll talk about that later <laughs> but listen i want to yeah. say that because you just because you can't move as much as as michael and i are moving you should still be dropping two pounds a week because two pounds a week happens from your diet and the other two pounds can come from your exercise so you should be losing weight simply by the best choices that you decide to put in your mouth so i want to encourage you to do it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Do that. Put down some of them tamales. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the refrigerator. Put down those tamales. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am ready to go. We're gonna work on our core. What you got? You Caffeine got pills. <laughs> Quick energy. How many carbohydrates is in those sports beans, dude? Um, preach, preacher. Zero. Zero carbs. No carbs. Um, no sodium. Wait a minute again. Zero carbs. Three percent sodium. Zero fat. All oh, this is good for you. Oh, okay. that's not so bad. How much caffeine? Yeah, what do you what? Where's your energy coming from? How much caffeine? So that's just the name that they're using, beans. What's the caffeine? It's 1,003% one, 1, caffeine. I'm just joking. Oh, I my God! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because you guys know that's how they get us. They give you something. They say, oh, yeah, there's no carbs. There's no calories. What? There's no sugar. But then they put more caffeine in it than two or three yeah. cups of coffee at once, and that's a lot for your body. No, what it is, what it is all sugar. Oh, it's, it's um, zero fat, three percent sodium, nine percent carbs. Okay, and outside the percentage, does it say anything else? What, what does it say? It says the percentage, but it says how many, how many grams of carbs? The grams of carbs, 25 grams. Okay, that's a lot. That's what you need people need to hear. You need to hear the grams, the percentage they can't they can't comprehend that. So, oh. that, so look, that's where you're getting your energy from. And that's that may be for me, it's worse than caffeine because caffeine is in green tea. Caffeine is in green tea, and caffeine can be a natural fat burn. Some amazing. some there are, there are some. Like mud stars and all those energy drinks, they have too much caffeine. Sometimes you can take a sip of that and get enough of that to, to give you some great energy. But I want you guys to understand how smart your body is. Listen to this. When you don't have energy, your body goes to your stored fat and turns it into energy for you. So don't be afraid to be tired because when you work out, you become tired. And when you become tired, your body has yes. to look for some energy. If yeah. always, your body energy is not going to produce its own. So how do we stay thin in our midsection? This is fat. My uh, body has to go to my stored fat and turn it into energy for me. Does that make sense? So right now, those mm -hmm. 25 grams of, 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 of sugar, you got to burn it off before we get to any of your stored fat. So you don't want mm. anything like that. So there are some natural fat burners. A small cup of coffee would not hurt you. Is what we put in the coffee that makes it bad, right? So a right. small cup of coffee... You can do a coffee shot. If you don't want to do that, remember we talked about we talked about the um, cayenne pepper. 
Cayenne pepper kicks your body into fat burning mode. Anything that heats your body up, thermogenic, thermogenic, thermo, anything that heats your body up creates what thermogenic. Then it's, I can't pronounce the word because I'm, I'm really hoarse. Yeah, thermogenics. Um, yeah, thermogenesis. Thermogenics. That your body can hot and it begins to burn. So how you how you how you feel about the fact it has forty percent sugar? That's what I just told you. <laughs> It's terrible because your body has to burn through the sugar before it gets you to store fat. So this whole time we could be working out and all I would do is burn the calories and the sugar in my body. I never get to my store fat, so I'm spinning my wheels. So that that, that means it ain't good. No. <laughs> better store some energy for you would be again, again a shot of coffee. You can do some cinnamon and water because cinnamon opens up your lungs. It makes you deep breathe deeper. You can do cinnamon. You can do a shot of coffee. Can you, you can, I'm sorry. Before you move on, can you clarify the cinnamon and water? Just a teaspoon of cinnamon and hot water. It don't have to be hot. Just a tea, just a teaspoon of whatever amount of cinnamon. Just a little bit of and cinnamon. Just water, and just drink it. And drink it. It makes you breathe okay. deep. It makes you take a deep breath. And what happens when you're taking deeper breaths? Your metabolism works harder. It's oh, got fruit, it's got fruit juice in it. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they tricked me. They tricked me, Dawn. They say you got jelly beans. <laughs> beans. Okay, so they this is what I need you guys to do. I need y'all to do this because I'm, I'm teaching y'all. Y'all forget what I'm teaching because you mentioned oh. before. So I need you to take some notes when we talk. Y'all, y'all right. have a notebook of all my tips. Have, I'm okay. gonna have to start posting some tips for y'all. So remember, okay. your body is smart. When you don't have energy, the best thing it does is create energy for you. So the only time I suggest you don't work out is when you have a headache. If you have a headache, that's kind of painful. Like I had no sleep at all last night for whatever oh. reason. I was up 24 hours. I'm going to work out with you. And if I don't have a headache, I may give myself a nice yam, a, a, little, a little small yam. An hour before I go hit the gym, because that's going to give me natural energy from that potato. And it's going to give me energy over a duration of time. And I'm going to hit leg day. If I was not doing legs, because I want to lift heavy, because the heavier I lift, the more muscle I create. If I was not doing legs, I would not have anything. I would go to the gym on an empty stomach so I get to my store fat a lot quicker, because it's early. I would head straight to the gym and do my cardio on an empty stomach. So my body can burn fat. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I always do lays after we work out. I lays right on this couch and I just um <laughs> I, I get the remote control and I lays right here. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. I love it. Brilliantly I love it. crafted, sir. I gotta say. <laughs> okay. We're gonna Everybody, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And please quit laughing at my Christmas tree. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And don't forget to follow me. Oh, he still got the Christmas tree up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's it right there, the corner of his shot. I'm still waiting for the gifts to come. There you go. Here we go. We're warming up. I'm going to teach you guys yes. to warm up. That we got to have. Speed skaters, we've done this once. We're gonna go to the side and then let's sit together. Side, lay together. Side, lay together. What this is doing is working our quad, it's working our glutes, but it's also cardiovascular. So we're gonna do 10 of these and I'm gonna teach you the advanced skater, speed skaters. It's like your ice skating. So this is low and back. Chris, I said we want you to do like this up and down, up and yes, down. Yes, ma'am. And you go, you go faster than us, but stop when you see us finish. Here we go. And right. One and good. Two good. And three and four. And good, Michael. Five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and good job. Mikey, you did that really great. Thank you. Hold on. We're going to do an advanced one. Same thing, except you're going to do a speed skater touch. So you're going to step over. You're going to step over. And then you're going to take this leg back, then the front knee, and touch the ground. You're going to feel it all in here. So you're going to go touch. Foot off the ground. Foot off the ground. Keep your foot off the ground. It's a lunge of that lunge. Look at my leg in the back. It's a 
said, back a lot. Back a lot. Let me see you, Michael. Okay. <clears throat> what I got to do with the opposite hand? Wait. With this opposite hand? arm. There you go. That's it. Nice. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Let's do 10 of those. Counting every right. other one. Go at your own pace, Michael, because the faster you go, you'll have more balance. Until you get stronger, mm -hmm. you go faster, you have more balance. When you go slower, ideally, uh, it makes you work more muscles. Does that make sense? And your balance got to be perfect. It makes you more, more work more muscle fibers. So you can do this exercise fast or slow. Right now, we're doing it fast for cardio. You ready? You're doing this okay. Here we go. And one, come on. Two, come on. Three, four, come on. Five, five, six, push it. Seven, come on. Eight, five, nine, five, ten, five. Michael, you are awesome. Good job. Thank you. Catch your breath. <sighs> okay. That was our warm up. Okay. All right, so now we're doing abs. We're going to do a couple of cardiovascular exercises and then we're doing abs. The reason why I'm breathing so hard is because it's hard for me to talk. So it kind of hurts. But anyway, we're doing, Chris, you're doing this. We're doing seal squats. Michael, I'm getting better I though. I had to plug my Christmas tree in. I didn't sleep at all last night. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. We're doing a squat. Close. Yes. All yes. Right. And then we're going to hit our reverse air push up. Push up, right. put your legs on the couch, tuck in. Push up, put your legs on the couch, tuck in. You did that last week. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Start to hang, start, start to hang us in. You ready? And go. Squat. One. Come on. Two. Give me 13. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Five. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Chris, you have fun with that hat. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Kind of. All right, Michael. Kick your feet up on the Kick your feet up on the couch. For 15, let me watch you. Chris, grab your five pounds. In and off the chest. Oh. Gonna run into her. Come on, come on. Come on, Michael. Feet up. I'm gonna watch your first, your first food. Here we go. Tuck in. Go. Push up and bring your legs in. There you go. Don't get to wait, push up. Push yeah. Wait, wait. So when I'm here, when I'm here, I do a push up. Ah. Yeah, I'm in. There you go. Two. Three. Give me 15. Four. You got it. Come on, Michael. Five. Six. Ah. Come on, nine. Ah. Ten, five, ah. Ah. Good. Four. Come on. Don't yeah. drop your elbows, Chris. Three. Keep those elbows up, Chris. Two more. That was excellent, Michael. Finish strong. Give me two more. Nice. One more. Come on, Michael. Yes. Stand on your feet. That was awesome. So as, you tuck those, as you tuck those legs under, it was equivalent to doing hanging leg raises, pulling those legs up, or doing oh, wow. and bring your legs up into your chest and taking it straight out. So you worked your lower abs when you were pulling those legs in and you were coming back out to a plank. Good job, Chris. Just make sure you don't drop your elbows. Don't go like this. Keep them up here. So okay. push up gotcha. and work this. There you go. Nice. All okay. right, so now we're going to do high knees. Chris, I want you to run as fast as you can with your arms, with your waist down. 
We're doing high knees, Michael, and we're going back to hands. You guys ready? Yes. High knees. Go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, four, three, two, one. Right down. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to do our V ups with a bent leg. Mm. No. Let's just do regular V ups. You got this. Chris, you're doing toe touches. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> if I can see this. <sighs> Laying back, the hands over head. And we're coming up. Meeting at the top, lay it like that. No V in the legs. No, we're going to do, do the regular V ups. Oh, OK. Touch your toes at the top. Give me 15. You ready? And yes. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Let me see Michael. Hey, let me see Michael. Seven, good, come on. Six, good. Oh. Oh, oh, come on, you have five more. Let's do okay. it. Five. Four. Oh. Three. Come on, oh. Come on, one more. Great job. Stand to your feet. Oh. That's our combination, you guys. We want you to give us two more rounds. Two more rounds. It's a good workout. You got speed skaters was the first exercise. The second exercise was push, push up, kicking your feet onto the couch. If you can't do that, here's a here's um a lower impact for you. If you can't kick your feet up on the couch, you can do mountain climbers, or you can do this. This is mountain climbers. This is mountain climbers. Oh yeah. You can do this exercise. This is, all, this is for a Russian audience. You can do this and out. Now, watch me bring my boots off the ground. That tuck at the end is important. Take it out. Bring it in. Take it out. And my shoulders are off the ground because the gauge is my entire core. My core is hard. Bring it in, up, and out. That is your low impact if you cannot keep your feet up on your couch. Then we did high knees and we finished mm -hmm. with beer. If you can't yes. do a beer, here's your low impact. Oh. Okay. You can do that. You can do this. Up and down. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. You got some options. Two more rounds. Let's get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That was fantastic. That was. Thank you, Don. Thank you guys did amazing. Don will be back here Thursday with us every Easy Tuesday. For you to say. We're here doing it, folks. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Please. Uh, Please. I had a couple. Jinx. Don't forget mm. to follow. I know, right? Don on all social media. Thank you. Don Stosier. Don Stosier. All social media. What do you think, Kelly? Oh, my God. And I'm doing seven shows this weekend, y'all, in Indianapolis, Indiana, at the world-famous Helium Comedy Club. Get your tickets now. Tell all your friends I need y'all to come out with your Michael Kaya shirts on. I need y'all to woo, woo, woo. And the buttons. And and the buttons. Because you get a discount with the buttons. You're selling merchandise for me. So I will bring a little merchandise. Come down this COVID time. I need every penny. I get <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Before you go off of that, Michael, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, for superstar interviews. Who's going to be your interview for the week? Well, tomorrow we have Miss Melba Moore. Ooh. We talk about Melba, Melba Moore. She's not Broadway or crusty. She's not even cheesy. She's definitely yes. Broadway. And what's that other wonderful actress? This is an actress in about five things. Including uh, 
including Tyler Perry show, like when you hear a name, you're gonna say, Oh, her. Wait a minute. I had it, I had it written down somewhere. Oh, I lost my worksheet. Oh, uh, anyway, it's a good one. <laughs> yes. Tomorrow night, six o'clock on Instagram. Just go to Michael Collier's Instagram page right at six o'clock, and um, you'll see. Oh my these God! Super no, Brayley, interviews. It's Brayley Evans. Woo! Oh! oh, oh, oh. So we You're got right. New school and the old school together. In fact, uh, nice. someone talking to uh, Miss Melba Moore about going back to do another Broadway show. So. <gasps> Her life wow. is just rolling. She's doing shows, concerts. She's still doing theater. Braylee Evans is on at least four major shows, not three. And so they'll both be on the Superstar interviews tomorrow. And on in Indianapolis. Uh, and tomorrow is Wednesday. Mid walk, the middle of the day. We're halfway through. Uh, we applaud everybody. I love my job. Uh, oh, tomorrow is I love my job. Yeah, that's right. More good stuff to give away. More funny comedians. Oh, there you go. Please make sure you send your name in. <laughs> you can say, guys, send in your name, phone number, and your job. And we will tell we'll call you in if you pick up the phone and say, Love a job, love a job, love a job, love a job, love a job. Yes. You can win some stuff. All right, thank you, uh, Michelle. Thanks to Gray and Stacy and Rosemary thank Smith, you. Elise Beckham and Wild Hair, Chief uh thank Tip you. Chef Tiffany. Thank you, Ebony. Definitely. And Dawn, Dawn, Dawn. Make sure you follow her. Dawn Exposure. And uh, everybody else who came on, it was fantastic. God bless y'all. And uh, we almost made it. We're going to do something new. I'm going to have you start pulling the plug at 830, Ebony. Okay. If we're in the middle of a sentence, we're going to cut it off. Okay. Cut it. <laughs> Gone. They say, he wasn't even finished talking. <laughs> it's gone. Everybody have a wonderful morning. It's Thursday. Okay. Have a great day. Stay it's positive. Tuesday. Keep God first. See you. Happy Tuesday. Bye, guys. <laughs> do your best today. No matter what, do your best. Even if you're in a messed up mood, do your best. That's it. Especially class. Oh, God. Oh.